Hey everyone, I want to do a review on two generators I just purchased. Uh, they're made by Furman. Uh, I'll do it, an unboxing and I'll show you some of the features that they have. So, in the box you get a wheel kit that comes in this little box here. And we're going to open this up and start assembling the wheels on, on the generator. Um, and you get a, I guess it's like a one of, one of those quick start guide kind of things. Yep. Alright, so let me get the wheels on here and... Uh, We'll go from there. All right, so in this uh, wheel kit box, you get the wheels, of course. That's cool. You get your, uh, the way, this is the, to connect your uh, propane tank to the generator. You get the uh, front pads that rest on here. You get some wrenches, a manual, you get oil, and most importantly, a funnel. Okay, so let's get these wheels on and see what it looks like. Alright guys, I got the uh, wheels mounted and the front pads mounted on there. Uh, they look pretty nice. Uh, I really like these, the way they, they did everything here. Um, a little bit, a, a little bit about Furman. Uh, the reason why I chose them, I was going to choose some other different brand, brands. I was just going to run up to Home Depot and you know pretty much grab whatever they had. But I started doing some research and I, I was going to go with Generac, and there was some issues with Generac um, that I was kind of worried about that they were having. Uh, then I was going to go with Champion uh, generators, and they also have a dual fuel. Uh, generators like these but the difference was they were a little more expensive and they didn't have electric start and they didn't have the, the plugs that these do here the features um, so I heard about Furman doing some research uh, so let me tell you a little bit about that company okay Furman is part of Sumic and Sumic is the largest import and export organization in China consisting of over 30 subsidiary companies with annual sales of over four billion dollars and I know they just recently celebrated selling 10 billion sets of generators so um, that's a lot <laughs> uh, let's see here Sumic is the largest and okay Sumic is the largest generator and engine manufacturer in China for the last five years. They're also the original OEM manufacturer for other generators. So you may buy whatever generator brand you buy and it could be a Furman, um, just with a different frame on it, you know. So, you know, you don't build a company that big with four billion dollars in sales, uh, 10 billion uh, sets of generators sold, and build junk. You know, that's the way I see it anyways. So, 
you know, as far as quality, I'm assuming they should be pretty good. Again, with all those sales and sales of uh, generators, uh, they should be pretty good generator. Um, Honda, obviously Honda is known for their quality. They're very good generators. I, I don't dispute that at all. But let me tell you something. The equivalent uh, Honda, close to, just in wattage equivalent, okay? They don't even make anything close to this. Well, well 5,000 I think they make. They make the EB5000, which is peaks out at seven. So this is just a little more powerful. Uh, they don't have dual fuel. Um, and for the price of one Honda, I could buy three of these, okay? That's one reason why I didn't get a Honda either. Uh, and the 8,000 uh, watt uh, unit there, I could have bought, I could buy six of those for the price of one Honda. So, I mean, that tells me pretty much what I, what I need to know right there. So, let's go through some of these features here. Here, this is where you hook up your propane, okay? Uh, this is your selector if you want to go with propane or you flip it to this side and gasoline. Um, this is a light indicator. Tells you, you know, that it's ready. This is your start button here. This here is a, uh, uh, what do they call it, a multi... Uh, Multimeter is what they call it. And it, by pushing this button here, it tells, it tells you your volts, hertz, and hours that, that are on this machine. Um, and as far as plugs here, you got two sets here of your standard 120 volt, 20 amp plugs. And they are, uh, are they, yeah, GFCI plugs here. So, that's that. And then here we have your L1430 amp, no, I'm sorry, no, this is your uh, 120 30 amp plug here. And this one here is your L1430 amp uh, twist lock type plug. These are both twist locks, but one is 120 volt and this one's a uh, two, 220 volt. Or actually they say 240 here. And, and these are your resets, of course, or your breakers, whatever you want to call them. Um, and uh, let's see what else. It has an eight gallon tank. And these have, I think, a 13 hour run time on them with 50% load on the, on the uh, generator. They have a 13 hour run time, which is pretty darn good. And they have a 439 cc motor or engine and both both of them do let's see what else it has a fuel indicator on top here your starting procedures up are all on top of the tank um, so let's check out the 8000 watt model here okay the same deal for the 8000 watt that's pretty much identical propane here your fuel selection here start uh, the multimeter is the same okay but here you get one 120 volt uh, plug here here you get one 120 volt 30 amp plug twist lock and this is your 240 volt twist lock your L14 30 amp and this is the big boy here this is your 50 amp plug here uh, which is nice. You can run a lot with that right there. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to run each one on gas or gasoline and propane. And uh, I'll probably run a, uh, I have a, uh, I think it's an 11 amp skill saw, circular saw, um, to uh, see what kind of power draw it takes. Okay, so let's see how that works. Okay, so first let's hook it up here. Now this you want to snug pretty good. 
because you don't want any leaks. And this you just want to hand tighten. Once it stops, you're good. I'm going to open the gas. See if you can smell anything. It smells good. <laughs> All right, we're also going to put some gasoline in here. I don't want to put a lot, just, just enough to start it and see how it runs on gasoline. Um, see if I can do this without spilling it all over the place. gas tank is metal. Most of this is plastic here. Nice metal frame. Uh, so far it's nice. It looks really, really good. Clean. Alright, so I got the gas, propane gas open. We're going to flip this to LP. That's pretty cool. Let's you know that that's on. On this side here, there's a choke. And in the uh, starting instructions, it tells you to choke it. So we're going to choke it. So we'll put this on propane. A light comes on. Put the choke on. And start it. Oh, this is nice. It's not as loud as I expected it to be. Fifty two hertz, zero hours, two hundred and forty five volts.
Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. It ran really nice. And it wasn't as loud as I thought it was going to be. So now we're going to try gasoline. Let me shut the propane off, shut the tank off anyways. Um, if you look behind here, there's a, a whole valve assembly or mechanism back here to, for this control here. So now we're going to put it on gasoline. Again, you get the light there. Very cool. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm really impressed with this Furman. Uh, it's not as loud as uh, I thought it was going to be. It doesn't vibrate all the hell. Um, it's very smooth running. Very, very nice. I'm, uh, I'm pretty impressed. And this one here is the uh, 8,000 watt model uh, Furman. Yeah, really nice. Up top here, you're going to have uh, your starting procedure. Let me just get a little closer. So here, here they give you the starting procedure for your uh, uh, gasoline. And here's the starting procedure for your propane. And it also give you a, a starting procedure if you want to pull start it. Oh, here too. So gas. Gasoline starting procedure, electric, and then pull start here, and uh, same thing here with your uh, propane uh, start or electric start and propane pull start. All right, in in the front here, you got this handle that comes up, lift it up, and you can move this thing anywhere you want. You know, I got to tell you, this thing is extremely heavy um, when uh, when I went to get when I went to get these at the Walmart it took four guys to put it on my pickup truck um, I thought you know I was gonna be able to you know kind of muscle it maybe two guys um, would be able to do it but you know uh, not the case this is very heavy all right, guys, I hope this video has helped your decision in whether you should purchase a Furman or not. Um, like I said earlier, you don't do $4 billion in sales and 10 million uh, sales in, in sets of generators um, and make junk, you know. So um, that's what I look at. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share, and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you.